My name is Jeff Adachi. I am the director and writer of You Don't Know Jack, the Jack Sue story. I was making my first film, The Slanted Screen, and it's a film about the way Asian American men are portrayed in media. And I came across the story of Jack Sue. I had heard that he had changed his name. He was Japanese American, mm -hmm. and he had changed his last name to a Chinese surname. Just found that uh, he had a fascinating story. Um, that went far beyond uh, his role in Barney Miller. The uh, film tells his rise from uh, a young man uh, growing up in Oakland. He wanted to be an entertainer, and so he began performing as a teenager uh, at his church. He then went on to begin performing in plays in San Francisco and Oakland, and then the nightclub circuit. He was a nightclub performer, and he performed in the 1930s uh, in San Francisco Chinatown and uh, all the way up until World War II. And of course, during World War II, Goto Suzuki, along with his family, uh, were interned. And uh, he uh, uh, became an entertainer, uh, began entertaining people in the internment camps. Then Gene Kelly cast him in the uh, Broadway, Broadway play, The Flower Drum Song, which came out in 1958. And, uh, you know, he uh, started with a very small, small role and then uh, became the, the, the co-star of the play, and then he was cast in the movie. He was the first Asian to be cast as a regular in a series, in a series called Valentine's Day in 1964. He uh, was also the first non-African American to be signed to Motown Records in 1965, and we were able to find a copy of the recording that he did. It was never released. He was the first male artist to record the song For Once in My Life, you know, that, that Stevie Wonder yeah. later rec recorded. I have some very old records here that Jack did. Jack was the first male artist, you know, to record the classic. He had an incredible voice. His daughter was interviewed for the film, and she had these, these incredible photographs uh, and, and visually really told a story. I think the thing about the film that touched me the most were the, the personal remembrances of his friends and the things that he had done for them and how he never gave up. He always moved forward in spite of any adversity. And I think that that's the lesson that perhaps um, people can learn from today. Well, filmmaking is a way in which the Asian community, both individually and collectively, because we have to remember that uh, Asian Americans uh, covers you know, a whole range of ethnicities, uh, can tell and preserve their stories. We have so many important stories. Jack Sue's story is, is one of them. My hope for the film is that young people will, will see it too. You know, by uh, using filmmaking as a medium, you have the opportunity to reach so many more mm -hmm. people. And I think that's the thing that has really drawn me in. So I hope a lot of people come out and see. Yeah. You don't know Jack, <laughs> if you haven't seen it. Go to our website at www.jacksue soo.com. Oh my god, I ate my eraser. <laughs>